but it's got to be over a month. It's more like a month and a half. Well, it's actually more than that. It's, it's, it's more like a year. This whistleblower, one of them, the big one, first made contact, senior IRS, I'm not going to say any more than that, at the biggest IRS center in the country, here in Austin, Texas, has made contact with us. I say year and a half, time just flies. Three years ago, now that I really think about it. And the last month and a half started giving us open source documents saying, look at this, look at that. I had another whistleblower through family get us info because it's a, this is the big story. Actually, I have a bunch of breaking news here. And, and, and my writers are actually so good about wanting to obsess on everything being documented uh, that we just never got this done. Because a lot of it's over the phone, and I'm like, well, why don't you come in? And I've met with one of the people before. Families met with the other, and it just never happened. And they just kept saying, well, I don't want to violate these agreements, even though I know this is illegal, and even though I know I could be protected. We've tried to bring this uh, to higher-ups in Congress, as we're supposed to do, through the whistleblower rules. It hasn't been done. And, 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 and by the way, Here's the breaking news, because I mentioned this last Wednesday on air. I said, I've got a big whistleblower. I've been procrastinating. It's huge. It deals with tax ID numbers, illegal aliens, and more. And it's finally in the Associated Press today. And I believe we fleshed this out last week. I, I believe like a covey of quail, we scared this out in the open. So you know what? It's even better that it came out in mainstream, because it ended up having more credibility than dinosaur media covered it. Because if a tree falls in the woods and the and Associated Press doesn't say it fell, you know, it didn't fall. Uh, but all the stuff, everything I was told by these people and told where to look, all came out in triplicate, but there's a bunch isn't public yet. So when we come back, look, they, you got, I'm going to call these people today. You, you got to come in. Or we can do Skype with you in a dark room. And we'll scramble your voice. I mean, you got to come on air. <laughs> Just wait till I tell you this. Man, that's beautiful. We are back live, ladies and gentlemen. What a poet. Okay, let me just get into the news here for you right now. Over the last three years, because I'm right here in Austin, Texas, where the biggest IRS command base, I said four states, it's five states, is based. But it also does auditing for much of the rest of the country for the private Federal Reserve that runs this country and has uh, taken it over with its collaborators. Here's the news. There is the worst morale ever. This is from a senior person and a mid-level. I have two different ones that I've been trying to get on air. And I'm like, and they're always, well, look here. This is part of it. You know, They'll never tell me everything. And I'm like, but it's crimes you're saying being committed. And so you've got a responsibility. And they go, yeah, but we've, we're supposed to report it through this supposed chain. And of course, that's in the news right now. Report finds widespread fraud in taxpayer ID program, a literal tip of the iceberg. Billions in ID theft related tax fraud undetected by IRS. Oh, it's detected. They, they're, they're told to hand them out, just like they hire illegal aliens to build the fake wall. IRS keeps ignoring tax whistleblowers, the examiner. IRS staff were instructed to overlook fraud in applications for taxpayer IDs. IRS discouraged fraud detection and ID program. You heard me last week said I had a big IRS whistleblower, and this all came out of Austin. And I've talked to the people, I've talked to one of them. They are not the ones that told um, the Drudge Report and Examiner and others this information. That's now forced... The Associated Press today and Reuters to come out with the news. IRS allowed bogus taxpayer IDs watchdog report. IRS discouraged fraud detection and ID program. Associated Press August 9th. That's today. You heard me last Wednesday. I said, oh, we got big IRS news, big whistleblower. Because I was going to write the article this week. I was begging them to do it under a pen name. And saying, please, will you just write it so I get it all right? And so I don't say something I'm not supposed to say. Uh, and they're like, I'll get it to you in a few days. Yeah, fine. And, and yeah, I like the credit. I like to break big news. I like to expose globalists. I mean, I'm in it to win it. But I'm really just mad at myself for not getting it done. But, but let me give you the rest of the breaking news. There is a giant total collapse of morale and people openly saying we are committing crimes, this is pure evil. 
and Fast and Furious is being discussed. They realize now they've looked into the fact that they really work for the private Federal Reserve. We're going to get uh, Joe Bannister, the former Treasury agent, uh, in studio next week uh, to break this down. He's coming through town because he saw this, you know, 15 years ago and went public, and they arrested him for exposing it. And he 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 beat him in court with a jury trial. But I mean, this is how dangerous this is. But they're all learning that the Federal Reserve took over. They're learning about the different commissions Ronald Reagan had that all the money goes to offshore banks, none of it to run the country. This is all coming out now. And so I'm here in Austin, Texas. They're all listening to the show. In fact, they've been told, don't listen to my show on their lunch hour. So there's a bunch of stuff going on. I don't want to give away too much and get people in trouble. But I have a senior person, very senior, and then another mid-level. And here's what's really happening. Now get ready for this. Over 5 million people a year, U.S. citizens... When the illegal aliens are given as many fake tax ID numbers as they can want, I was told about one house in Austin, Texas, one house with over a half million dollars as an example of these checks, these tax rebates being sent to them. And here's what's not in the Associated Press. They are linking up the fake tax ID numbers with real people's social security numbers. And then the IRS is coming after the real people and taking their bank accounts because of the illegals. I think I'm gonna finish up with this when we come back, and then we're gonna go to David Knight, who's gonna be here in studio with us. You know what, I've gotta write all this out. I even left my notes at home. I, uh, I just realized this morning this is all broken. We'll be back. We're on the march. The Empire's on the roads. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back live on this Thursday edition of InfoWars.com radio broadcast. I'll be back tonight hosting InfoWars Nightly News. And it's going to be jam-packed with some amazing guests. If you're not a viewer of the show, it is via subscription. Nine plus years of our 17 years of work archived at prisonplanet.tv. We're also streaming live video of this radio slash TV show right now at prisonplanet.tv. There is a 15-day free trial there and your support of prisonplanet.tv when you become a subscriber for $5.95 a month, that's the cost of two cups of coffee, makes this all possible. That's how we're hiring six new reporters, seven new graphics people, launching the newspaper, so we have something physical to get around the internet kill switch. We're fighting at every level, doing the best job we can. And sure, our work is like dirty rags before God, but our hearts are right and we're fighting the globalists as best we can. We need your help. We need your support today more than ever because people are really starting to wake up because the evil is coming out in the open. You know, when I see a report, and I'm just gonna cover this more at the start of the next hour, where they admit and where the U.S. Treasury inspector admits, and that's that's Tim Geithner, former you know head of the Federal Reserve, uh, New York branch that really runs the whole show, because I was saying last week, undoubtedly, this all broke in Austin, that, hey, I've got whistleblowers about illegal aliens being given tax ID numbers. Uh, I've got whistleblowers on a mutiny at the IRS. I've got uh, stuff about the Russians and the Chinese uh, governments, but... Mafias and the IRS controllers themselves, upwards of 5 million Americans are having their, their identity stolen. And you notice Bank of America has released Social Security numbers. The Texas Comptroller released millions a few years ago. The IRS is doing it. They let the illegals get fake ones. They're real, but they're fake. They get them from the Social Security, that's really the Federal Reserve Administration. But what's what they're not telling you when it's not in the Associated Press they're admitting the identity fraud, is that with these tax IDs, they're linking them up with social security numbers. And then the IRS comes back and says, these are fraudulent uh, tax refunds you've been asking for and child exemptions. We're freezing your bank account. And this is what's freaking out the IRS. They don't, a lot of the employees don't care. They're just mercenaries for the private fellow reserve. They make excuses about meet the new boss, same as the old boss. What's freaking them out, I'm gonna break this down next hour because there's so much I've, I've been told that's now all coming out and I just never codified it or you know, did a report on it. 
is that they're freaking out because they're even having family members, cousins, aunts, uncles, parents, children who are having their identity stolen. The IRS is then a year or two later seizing their bank account, their credit's ruined, and they're even taking their houses. And over 70% of the people they're going after now are retirees, and they're taking their homes based on fraud. And it's not just that. The fraud is so widespread. Well, it's kind of like it came out last year in Bloomberg that for, what is it, since 1999, 13 years, all of the veterans, when they die from World War II right through to now, they're supposed to get a death benefit, especially if they've paid into it as life insurance. It's just taken. No one gets in trouble. Uh, fast and furious, all of this criminality is just rampant. And it's now reached a point and this is when societies start collapsing and into authoritarianism because people are going to be homeless or they're going to be driven onto welfare, which is what the globalists want. They bankrupt you. They make it impossible to operate in this society. They, they pay with your tax money to ship your jobs overseas. They harass you with regulations. They increase your power prices, the regulations. They go after the family farms. They shut down the swap meets. They make it illegal to use cash and secondhand transactions in multiple states. They start shutting down backyard and front yard gardens. They start saying you can't have dust on the family farm or hay dust. They throw this bureaucratic goo at us, this, 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 this red tape. And most of what half of Congress doesn't pay the taxes. All the big globalists are exempt. They're involved in insider trading. It's lawlessness. And they're going to raise taxes on all of us that actually work still, that can hang on, who are smart enough to be able to operate in what's left of the free market, the entrepreneurs. Where they're, we're being told, you didn't build that just like Lenin did to the Kulaks and others where they took their property and Stalin. I mean, hey, you didn't build that, we're taking it. Chavez says that. I mean, these are dangerous criminals. And the IRS, is their employees are all freaking out. And a lot of them are just refusing to do it now. That's why they're trying to go to an automated system and just no due process, start taking stuff out of your account. Because let me explain. Well, I'll break it down next hour. We're joined in studio talking about massive scams by David Knight. He's a media fellow at the American Tradition Institute. That sounds evil. And a video producer and entrepreneur with Senate Film Media. And he's very close to being a reporter. Uh, you saw him last night down here. Uh, and he wants to come to Austin. We want him to be here. Uh, and so it's a very good chance you'll see him here uh, in the next two or three months. He'll be down here. We've got six reporters that all want to come. We're, we're uh, lining up the final final layout to try to get everybody here, get it all set up, uh, and go to the next level. And it's all because of you supporting the info war, ladies and gentlemen. And he has been on the cutting edge of researching the siege against the West. The globalist, very simply, can come in give exemptions to their power plants, shut down city-owned or other privately-owned power plants that are totally clean, even let the old plants that are dirty operate if they're owned by General Electric or maintained by them. GE and others will come to you who've been given waivers by Obama and say, let us go ahead and take over operations, you can stay open. And so we've seen in the last decade a doubling roughly in prices, they admit that. They're talking about another doubling over the next three years. We're talking about three billion extra for a handful of globalist power companies, just like Enron. They came up with this in 2000. They would make billions a day sometimes in California. They would just turn the power off. And they said, if we do that, the memos came out in court, that pre creates a perception of scarcity, artificial scarcity, and we could jack up prices. Sometimes they would make multi-billions a day doing this on the West Coast. This is the new system. But they... But our mayor says we can't have a referendum because he's God. And he says that that's just the way it is for the earth. No, nothing to do with the earth. Congress, by the way, said no to this. They don't care. And it's happening where he lives in North Carolina. David Knight, you've got the floor to break down this in a report. Uh, it's not just happening in Austin. It's not just happening in the U.S. It's happening from Australia to Canada. Um, they promised a post-industrial world. They're going to charge us a lot more for a lot less. Uh, total insider mafia crony monopoly system.